hey guys so this will be the last part of the permission feature so today we are going to update these pages and make sure we uh, check the user permissions if they are allowed to access the page then we're going to throw an error so right now let's just um, list all the pages that we have our permissions so we have the supplier the user and then we have the pos so i'm not sure if i'm going to cover the pos in here but yeah so let's start with the dashboard page uh, let's visit the dashboard.php file so here um just hide the menu so in our session so once they log in we should also we can get the users info so using the sessions or the session variable so as you can see the session user if we dump so it has the permissions data so what i'm going to do now is instead of string i'm going to transform this one into an array so we can easily check the permission so here using the explode we can convert the string to array and then the delimiter is the comma let's refresh so it's still the same it's because we need to lag out first so let's log in and uh, check so as you can see it is now inside an array the next thing we need to do now is so there's already a user variable um, so let's just remove that one now here uh, let's go to the our main content uh, HTML so here we're going to add an if else statement so if the user so to create which is the dashboard view if the user if check if this has this permission then we're going to show uh, the content of the dashboard page then here we need to close that one then else so let's try uh, display an error message or an access denied misses right now it's working uh, but let's just check uh, I think we have that error uh, style so I'm going to check that one so this one uh, I'm just going to grab that ID use that ID and then here um uh, going to uh access denied message so let's refresh uh, it won't work the reason is the user does have so now i'm going to update that one remove and then uh, so i'm going to log out so as you can see now i can access the dashboard.php page that's because I removed the access so I'm going to remove all of this access the view delete so here the reports view so going to add again the access so this is the value should be report view and then so let's visit the report.php page so the same thing uh we'll look at 
the main container so let's see if we have access to the user variable I think we have that in our app sidebar so just copy and paste them inside the report so it's working so now for our purchase order so the same thing let's grab the value so the spiel and then here what to do now uh, add some space uh, view orders let's visit the view order the php file so the same process just copy so let's just check first this user i think we included it in our sidebar so yeah that's correct so we don't need to declare it again um space now on and then the else statement and then here as you can see it is now access denied so let's visit the product that ordered page 3 uh, actually this one this should be PO view and then the product order PO create so if we refresh so it is denied so it's working fine so now let's go to so let's remove this one however the edit so for now let's enable the view so we can use the edit features so log out login so now if we view we have the update feature so the same page the view.php page so here what we're going to do here is maybe just disable or yeah same thing or well, add a class maybe a different class so Let's try if we can just hide them. So PO edit. So I think this is better. So we remove the edit uh, or update button. So let's remove that one. So next is the product. So let's grab that, paste. So let's visit the view product and then the product view that php file so let's grab the main fls statement <coughs> and then also the error message and then here the correct value so as you can see it's working now so now let's go to product add .php file um, where's the one? this one uh, just copy this one and then add the else statement <coughs> and then let's update the use the product rate refresh so it's now denied so now let's enable the view so we can use the edit and update feature so again going to log out and log in so now we can use the product so let's edit so you, now we'll add the edit uh, command so let's just copy this one or the edit permission copy that one so here uh, as you can see there are buttons so uh, i think we'll just add here so once the user is allowed to delete or update the product then let's add that class else let's make it empty so let's try let's just add create closing tag uh -huh. so this one let's uh, that's the correct one um also here we're going to update that one so now uh, 
so here uh, let's update product edit and then the product delete let's refresh so as you can see there's an error let's remove them so now it's just refresh so I think this is will add a class here access denied error and then here we'll just going to add a new event so if that class is actually denied error then we're going to prompt or alert uh, access denied um, message so let's refresh as you can see we have that access denied so next is the supplier so here the view supplier supplier view just copy that and paste inside the main dashboard or the content file and then so let's copy the supplier values so if we refresh so it will work since we enabled it um here for the update and delete so the same process with what we did for the product uh here we're going to copy and then paste the class and then we are going to update supplier grade and then should be supplier delete so going to paste that access denied as you can see it's working fine so next is on the supplier side the same thing on the view I mean the user side we'll just oh uh, yeah supplier view as you can see it's working fine um, so let's go to the users So here, let's copy all these values and then let's copy paste inside the main content, add the FNL statement, so update it to user view and then the else statement. Refresh, so it will work since we enabled it. Let's check it later. So for our update and delete user, just to do is grab the same code um, here let's use the edit and then delete so fresh um, copy the So let's just try to add them in a single script.js file then remove it individually so we added so this still doesn't work uh -huh. let's check so make sure we add that javascript file then add the dynamic parameter so it doesn't work and as you can see here seems like we already added it so let's just remove this one let's visit that app site i mean app script i think we added it in that page so remove this one the app script the js so let's just check if so here in our script the js make sure we're using class list or 
declare the class list and let's refresh as you can see it is now working so now we can remove all those uh, view supplier we have that we can remove the view product remove that event so now uh, in our user side same thing uh, we can copy paste the if and else statement and then we need to sorry update the values it should be user at so now I created an admin admin account so as you can see it has access to all of the products or features so all we're going to do here is to test make sure it works uh, here on our audio store let's try to update John Doe 2 so why I have an access denied uh huh that's weird let's try to check I do have user create and other formations so let's check in our login.php file so this one this should be user permission as you can see we have another variable so we'll need to create a new variable so user permissions so let's just stop this user permission so it's uh, an array I mean that's correct so let's try ah so here uh, we should remove this key since it's already we already get the value so let's add it as you can see it's working so now let's try to update channel they can create view create a lag out and lag in jando create then view however can delete so or edit so it's working properly as you can see denied so basically that's it and thank you for watching